Cristiano Ronaldo had some interesting words to say concerning Iceland after their dire 1-1 draw with the newcomers of the competition, the small country of Iceland with a population around the same size as Leicester. But they turned out in their numbers, they were loud in their voices, they were efficient at certain parts in the park, but apparently Ronaldo wasn't a fan. Take a look. The favourites of the tournament. Yeah, but this doesn't mean nothing. Um, we just try our best, uh, we create many chances, we, we, we keep the ball all the time. Uh, and as I said before, Iceland, they didn't try nothing, they just defend, defend, defend and play in the counter-attack. And um, they had two chances and they score one goal. Uh, lucky night uh, for them. But we are, we are OK. Um, of course, we are a little bit disappointing because we should win three points. But it's just the beginning. We are, we are not worried. So we try, we try, we try. And Iceland have two chances and they score one. Sounds like pretty efficient play for me when it comes to Iceland. So as many of the commentators will allude to the fact that I'm a Ronaldo Fans, Fan, sympathizer, Aren't good. I was going to go to the more disgusting term, as I've been called on the com in the comments There's section. a quote for it. We read it off yesterday, so we don't need to do it. Today. Yeah, we don't need to do it. We don't need to uh, say the vulgar terms more than once. But uh, of all people in the Portugal starting 11, even in the squad, to criticize another team for their performance, I'm afraid it is not the tanned, plucked eyebrows one. It's... He, wasn't, he didn't play well. He missed two clear, clear-cut chances that Iceland fans or Iceland team, uh, anyone from the Iceland team could have came out in their press conference and went, well, this Ronaldo guy, everyone talks about how phenomenal he is in his goal-scoring record. We gave him two clear-cuts at goal and he missed it. He's not that impressive. Oh, he's, he is human at some point, you would think. But uh, I was impressed that the, the Portugal found a way on the goal sheet to not name Ronaldo throughout that match. Yeah. Uh, he kind of laughed off the the second half of that statement in which he kind of says, you know, it's like they won the Euros. They thought like they won the Euros. Well, for Iceland, as you mentioned, a country with a population the size of Leicester, that's not the only one that was thrown out there. I think Deadspin also said that, uh, that, and this is true, Ronaldo makes more Euros per week than there is people in Iceland, Yeah, which I think is <laughs> freaking amazing. It's like 340,000 Euros per yeah, week. I think 333,000. Yeah. Uh, Icelandic? Icelandic. Icelandic, we got it. Uh, as for the match itself, I mean, you were amazed because you're watching and your reaction to Ronaldo actually whiffing. What do you call it? An air, bo an, uh, fresh air shot. A fresh air we shot. We call it freshy in golf yeah, sometimes. Yeah, just absolutely whiffs. He looked for a mulligan. And it was it was pretty amazing, and he wasn't even mad because usually you'd see a, usually you'd see a premier striker come out of that and be like, oh, he found me, he found me, he found me. I think Ronaldo realized he whiffed there and went. Yeah. But Ronaldo had his toys firmly at the pram for the majority You've of the game. You've said that so many times. It's true. What is a pram? So a pram is when you're a kid and you don't get your way and you throw your toys out and start crying. A temper tantrum. Yes, temper tantrum. Okay. And he threw many of those. And he blamed the referee for certain moments in the game. And by the way, I know. Uh, I, I just I feel like I should have this like uh, bubble pop up every time I talk about Ronaldo. Yes, he's phenomenal. And yes, I'm a fan. But that doesn't mean I can't criticize him specifically on this performance. It reminds me very much of Zlatan Ibrahimovic with the, in the Sweden game. He Zlatan came up uh, in a moment that he had to come up against Ireland. But throughout the game, he was frustrated. He was trying to do things on his own. He was blaming the referee. And I think there's so much resemblance between Zlatan with Sweden and Ronaldo with Portugal. I think Ronaldo's got a better team all around him. I think that this is the best possible chance that Portugal has in terms of their youth and some of the talent that they have to go further than what is expected. Do I think they'll win it? Absolutely not. They have... <laughs> Clear weaknesses in that team. The right back is a failed winger, as the commentator pointed out, and he was just sleeping on the goal. If you want to criticise anyone, Ronaldo, don't criticise the small population who celebrated crazily when they scored their first goal in a major tournament. Why would they not do that? Criticise your right back who's sleeping, falls on his ass, and allows for the, Ice the Icelandic striker to put home an easy, easy finish. That's where your criticism should be pointed to. Yes, they held possession well. I didn't think they had a cutting edge without Ronaldo doing something uh, majestic. I think that they lack that final, that, that finishing product. And if Ronaldo's not playing provider, he needs to be putting the ball away. We've seen it in the World Cup as well. He, he missed several chances, I think, with Portugal. And it's, these are chances that it's a little baffling because with Real Madrid, he could close his eyes, literally. We've seen him close his eyes in one of those tests that they did where they launched the ball in and it was pitch black and he still put it in the back of the net. But I do think that the pressure of the nation is sometimes too much for Cristiano, which is, I can't even find it in me to say because 
We see him do it for Real Madrid. And he should know more than anything that teams will defend for their life against a team that happens to have you on it, Cristiano. Because you are a big talent and you are a player that they need to watch out for. Atletico Madrid do it week in, week out. And yes, you can criticise them, but in the end, if it's successful in that team who are not expected to do well in this competition, get a point, a valuable point. Points, Any point is like gold dust in this competition because as we know, this strange rule this year where the, the, the better third place teams can go through, then for me, Iceland come away the, the victors of that game. Aye. 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 So no, I got nothing else to add. That's you think Portugal can go through though? Yeah, they see? got Ronaldo, and I don't think that's the only reason. I think with Nani getting on the score sheet is very important. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, is Pe- Pepe's in their starting Pepe's role. playing at the back, and, and he's doing his usual flailing around. Someone tweeted does, out that... He does, but I thought in that actual match, it wasn't as bad as normal. Yeah, no, it was, I mean, in comparison to the Champions League final, he's it wasn't his Oscar yeah. worthy. He's embarrassing. Yeah. But he's also, you know, as he's a hot a talented head, defender. He's, but he's talented, and that's yeah. like the big thing. He's probably up there as one of their third best I liked, players on the team. I like Rafael, uh, one of their players on the team. Very talented, going forward. Old, um, provides a threat. They've got some talent in there. There's no doubt. They brought, but, they brought yeah, off the young yeah. Bayern Munich uh, starlet Renato Sanchez off the bench, who is a monster. He is a big human being, and he's got a presence about him. I wouldn't be surprised to see him start about the next game. But about him. Predator, he's got a nice present about him, and I want a present. And talking of presents, Jason, can you tell them where this present oh, came yeah, from? Oh yeah, we might as well. Uh, the wonderful Maxwell family, Mr. and Mrs. Maxwell, who are also extremely uh, uh, generous in sharing TYT Sports more than you guys do. <laughs> Just and they got my Celtic cup, which means when uh, Jason's not drinking it. They got me the Celtic it. cup, but because I'm drinking out of it, first of all, it's enormous. Second of all, uh, I'm sorry if I start drinking out of this and supporting the team at all. They're <laughs> going to get relegated. Please don't so say that. So sorry. Please don't say that. It's not my Mr. Fault. Maxwell will take that back. No, he won't. Yes, he will. I like my cup. If, and when he's not drinking it, it will go up on the memorabilia wall. When will I not be drinking it? I don't know. Either way, right hit us now. in the comment section below. What do you think of Ronaldo's comments? Were they a little harsh on the small nation of Iceland? And by the way, let's not beat around the bush here. Maxwell did state that Iceland would be a team that would be hard to beat, seeing it is their first, their birth to a major tournament and all the excitement surrounding this team. They're frustrating opponents and they're going to be hard to beat, but we'll see in the next round of games. Hit us in the comments. Make sure to commentate on Twitter as well. Francis underscore Maxwell and Jason Rubin 91. We'll be back with more Euros and Copa, so do not go anywhere.